There's a lot of unrest nationwide, especially between police and the black community after several incidents where white officers have shot and killed black men. Channel 4's Vic Michalucci spoke with two recently retired Jacksonville Sheriff's officers about what it's like to be members of the black and blue communities. Have you ever seen tension as bad as it is right now? I've never seen tension as bad as it is right now. Two veteran police officers, each with more than 25 years experience on Jacksonville streets, have a unique perspective on the times. Both entities need to get together and come together as, as one, have some positive dialogue about uh, their concerns. Police and protesters across the country continue to clash, and race is at the center of many of the debates. Is it difficult being an African-American officer working in an African-American community when there's a lot of tension between that community and between the police? Most African-American police officers, from the first day that they take the job, experience um, some negativity from their own community. Y'all tired of being scared. They say the problems now are worse than ever before. You don't get invited to too many parties <laughs> once you once you put on this badge. Uh, you kind of are you kind of you're somewhat alienated um, uh, from different friends and different family members. But these retired officers say people need to teach their kids at an early age to respect and obey the police and human lives as a whole. It all starts at home. Um, you know, parents, teachers, big brothers, grandparents. And what do you think police can do? Well, we can be, a, we can be more sensitive. We just need to treat people the way we want to be treated. That, they believe, will cut down on the controversial incidents at a time when the thin blue line is under intense scrutiny. No justice, no, no peace. peace. No justice. Nobody wants to wake up every single day and be labeled as the police officer that killed someone or have to go to bed at night thinking about that incident. Officer Dixon says she had to pull her gun several times when she felt her life was in danger during her career, but she's thankful she never pulled the trigger. But Sergeant Webb says he had to shoot at suspects four different times while on the force. He's grateful his bullets never hit anyone and no one was hurt. But you both admittedly were very close to being oh, absolutely. in yes. one of these situations. Yes. yes, and I remember incidents where I could have been that officer receiving the national scrutiny uh, for shooting unarmed individuals. And those individuals did not have a weapon. And for whatever reason, I didn't pull that trigger. And, you know, I thank God for that. So they say have those conversations. That's the key here. Both officers have children and told me they don't want them to be police officers in this day and age. They say the job right now is just too dangerous. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.